Go to get your game on. Go for the beers. Go for the cheers. Go for the hit and the hits. Go for the stakes and the stakes. Go to get your parlay on. Go to get your party on. Go for the scene. Go for the screens. Go for the gallery. Go for the win. Go to Ocean. Visit theoceanac.com to plan your visit. Welcome to the Sports Betting Show on Sirius XM Channel 159, Jacob Sports on YouTube and Sports Grid. I'm the Philly Godfather from the phillygodfather.com, and we're going to be breaking down some NFL action. We're going to go to rapid fire real quick. We're going to get down to business, try and give you guys some winners. Let me go to Jamie Gold, my co-host first. Jamie, uh, who do you like in the NFL this week? Is it a side or a total? Uh, well, we are, we, are, we are doing this show on a Thursday night, and uh, last Thursday night, I don't know how often this is going to happen, so I do need to ask Jimmy a question. <laughs> what is go. the exact <laughs> average number between <laughs> 7 and 28? The answer is 18. How much did San Francisco beat the Giants by? 18. <laughs> what did I say they were going to win by? 7 to 28. Who laughed at me? Jimmy. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jamie. We need to hear about your teaser odds. Wait, wait, wait. You got to go to the. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Let, let him give out the move. Then we'll go to the go teaser expert Rooster to break down. Is it beneficial to bet NFL teasers? And at what? Where, where's the cutoff point? But Jamie, go ahead. Give out. Give out your favorite mover this week for NFL. Oh, I I've got a few, uh, but I would say. I would say. Over 47 in the Giants, Seattle, Seahawks game. Yeah, you got two bad pass defenses there. I could see them score 100 points there. I agree with you there, Jamie. Um, yeah, uh, that's yeah. my favorite play. <laughs> Besides my teasers, which I will save for Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, because I had to hear. I got to hear the uh, the Jamie math on these teasers. You know, how, Jamie. Let me ask you a question real fast. You bet ten teasers. How many do you have to win to show a profit? Six well, and depends. a half. Depends what you're. No, that's depends not what you're true. laying, though. If you're some teasers are well, minus like, one ten to uh, sixteen teasers. If you're betting seventy, let me get roosters. Roosters the act. rooster. Are you betting teasers in the NFL? Are you laying 110? What's the highest you'll lay on a teaser? A six-point teaser, seven-point teaser? Uh, your volume's oh, off, Rooster. You're, you're on mute. Oh, sorry. I would lay <laughs> up to 120 on a seven-point teaser, but you got to go exactly to the key numbers. Not a half point more, not a half point less. There's probably two seven-point teasers a week that have mathematical value. There's probably one six and a half point teaser a week that has mathematical value. I try to tweet them out when I have time or when I think of it, but stay away from teasers, Jamie. They are a loser long-term unless like I said, you can grab these exact numbers. Like you go from seven and a half to a half, or you go through the three count and take three and a half, not three. You have to take three and a half. And like I said, it's very far and few between. They are out there. Other than that, just bet your team straight. You're going to be better off long term just to take two straight bets. If you go one and one, you split. On a on the, the teaser, you go one and one, you lose. So it's a, similar to a parlay. So what, my yeah. question, excuse me, Bruce. My question was, you bet 10 teasers. How many on a seven-point teaser, how many do you have to win to show a profit? Lay them 120. Yes, right. correct. Six and a half. No, it's eight. Seven sevens or 49. <laughs> you fucking lose it. You got no, eight, it's not. Eight, All right. Bad ass. Stay you away from the math. It's not eight. Let, Joe, you want the cardinal hair? Let me and Jamie do the math. <laughs> you do the math. You'll lose in the long run. This is Joe Vito's uh, but, 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 Bible. Hold on. Joe Vito. Seven time out. sevens or 49. <laughs> you need to win that eighth teaser and show profit. <laughs> But Bruce, if we you got, want me to do the math for you right here, leave me leave the math to me and Jamie. You stick. You, you. I need to. Wait, we still got some. If I need the math out. to you, Brewster, you'd be out of pizza business. <laughs> Let me go to eight ball real quick. Eight ball, before we, we can't stop laughing. Eight ball, is there a game this week you like more than anything else? 
Love the Browns this week. Uh, we're talking about a team with the best defense in the NFL right now. <laughs> Sean Watson's coming off his best performance as a Brown. Ravens are dealing with a ton of injuries on both sides of the ball. Uh, if I'm being honest, I think the Browns should be four, four and a half point favorites here in this spot. They're at home. The better team to me, the better quarterback and the better defense. I'm going with the Browns here. I like the Browns as well. Matt Maltepis from the College Kids. You can find him on Twitter at Matt Maltepis. Who are you giving out this week? The eight ball actually took my move. <laughs> we bet the Browns early money line. Uh, I still like them all the way, you know, up to three. But we also like the under here, under 42 and a half. So that's what we also bet. And you also took the Browns at what, 40 to one? Yes, we have 40 to one. How are you feeling about Bowl. that after three weeks? I know they got so, that Pittsburgh game was kind of wacky. Yeah, there, there was a couple wacky stuff in that game. You know, the ball bounced a little weird, but. That this defense is by far the best. They've proven that they are the best defense in the NFL until someone proves us wrong. Second of all, the only concern for me is Conklin at left tackle. The offensive line. If the offensive line starts getting a little more cohesion. Watch out. People are talking about Deshaun Watson not playing well. Well, what's the reason? Well, maybe it's because his left tackle is you know not there. Yeah, and if you look at their schedule, their opposing defenses uh, when it comes to pass defense – some of the worst in football. So other than the Ravens, San Fran, and Kansas City, the rest of their schedule, I think Deshaun Watson's going to have a big year. And those, 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 we saw it last week. Yeah, we saw it last week against a really uh, bad pass defense in Tennessee. I think Tennessee's ranked 29th in opponent yards uh, per pass attempt. I know it's short in the season. Uh, but let me go to Rooster real quick. Rooster, you think the Browns got a shot to go deep in the playoffs this year? We've got 30 seconds. So, Yeah, I do. I mean, look. As Matt said, the defense is playing unbelievable. I think this line's a little short. I would lay it at two and a half as well. I mean, the Ravens are dynamic. I think it's going to be a close game. Uh, at three, I'd probably stay away, but I would lay it at two and a half. But the Browns, I mean, Deshaun Watson is starting to look a little bit more like he did. Hold that thought, Rooster. We're going to be right back. we got Pro Football Doc coming out, coming on the show. So we'll be right back. Go to get your game on. Go for the beers, go for the cheers, go for the hit and the hits, go for the stakes and the stakes, go to get your parlay on, go to get your party on, go for the scene, go for the screens, go for the gallery, go for the win, go to ocean, visit theoceanac.com to plan your visit. Welcome back to the Sports Betting Show. I'm the Philly Godfather from the phillygodfather.com. And each and every week we bring on pro football doc, Dr. David Chow from SICscore.com. Doc, thanks for coming back this week, man. Your information is so valuable to anyone who's looking to invest some money in the sports betting market. Thank you so much. And, you know, I heard the segment before, and you guys don't need me. You guys are already on the Browns. And let me add something to that. First of all, don't worry about Deshaun Watson and his throwing shoulder injury, two straight LPs Wednesday and Thursday. That is a contusion on his deltoid. It should not affect his throwing motion at all. So that's another strength for the Browns. The other thing that you guys have covered, of course, is yes, I had worry a lot for Jack Conklin at right tackle when he tore up his knee week one. But let me tell you, Dewan Jones, he's a young guy. He's a high draft pick. He's huge, but he moves his feet. Like we grade against the the second stringer what the drop off is, and we have raised that, so we have less concern about Jack Conklin now. And it seems like Jack Conklin might have lost his job even without the injury over time. So that's better. And you already hit it on the head. The Ravens are still among the most injured teams. So you don't need me. You guys already have it. <laughs> well, that makes me feel better uh, when you talk about replacement value on that offensive line, because as we all know. That offensive line, I mean, that's where the games are won and lost in the trenches. And that's that's some big news for everyone listening out there. Uh, let me go to Jamie first. Jamie, you got any questions for Pro Football Doc this week? Yeah, Doc, how are you at math? <laughs> <laughs> Seven, <laughs> sevens, 49. <laughs> look, look I'm, I'm pretty good with the abacates. Just kidding. <laughs> so we're, we're just we're having some fun on the show. Um, but no, Doc, thank you. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really curious about Eckler again, because I do want to take the Chargers this week. You know, you got to give five and a half right now, but I, I, I really want to know that Eckler is back. They're, they're implying that he is, but I want to know that he really is. 
Well, here's the thing. I don't think his ankle sprain, high ankle sprain, I think it was mild. His foot wasn't planted when it happened. And, and my continuing question is, look, if the ankle injury is real, but if he had the contract he wanted, would he just try and play through, right? That's the question, and that's the unknown. I, I sort of thought that there was a chance that Jimmy G would not clear concussion protocol because it was reported after the game that might be delayed symptoms. But it looks like he was in the concussion protocol just as a precaution. You don't have to have a concussion to be in the protocol. You can just be in there as a precaution. And that seems to be the case. Because if he actually had one, I don't think he plays against the Chargers. So, uh, you know, make that what you will. So, Doc, this is Matt Maltepis from the College Kids. I have a question about my Dallas Cowboys that I have a future on. Last week we saw them lose to the Cardinals. But it's because they had a lot of key injuries. This week coming up, are those offensive linemen going to be ready? Uh, C.D. Lamb, I know he was on the injury report. I know it was for rest, but I'm not sure. We have a couple of different guys, defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence, also dinner practice. So I was just wondering the status of the team. Well, look, in, in our own war room, right before the kickoff at the game, I was lobbying everyone that, you know, maybe we should give out the, the, the Cardinals as a pick, you know, a couple things. Josh Dobbs has been there a little while right now. He's serviceable, right? The team seems to be rallying around him. And when those offensive linemen for the, your Cowboys turned up DMP, we knew four of the five were all yellow uh, on the offensive line, as in questionable. Two didn't play, and then Tyron Smith basically didn't play. So it's really 60% of the offensive line. That certainly made a difference. And, and you know, don't, don't uh, miscount how losing your number one corner is – you know, what the Cowboys did there. So, yes, the Cowboys were injured and the Cardinals seemed to be rallying together. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what it was. And, obviously, it'll probably uh, – this will air after tonight's game, but Jair Alexander out is potentially a big deal tonight, too, so, as the number one corner. So, upcoming for this week against the Patriots, uh, is there any cause for concern about certain people on the offensive line not suiting up? Well, you know, with the Patriots, you know uh, – uh, it's always a game of hide the bacon, right? You got a dozen guys that are questionable, and it's a matter of which one isn't going to play. We've been pretty good at trying to figure that out. But that offensive line is still a little bit of a shambles. It's not on Mac jo all on Mac Jones right there. That offensive line is still in a shuffle where one week to the next uh, you're moving the, the pieces around. And so that still is an ongoing concern for us. What's up, Doc? It's uh, eight ball. I wanted to know about the latest status on Cooper Cup. Well, Cooper Cup, if you believe the coach speak, he's, you know, they're hoping he's on schedule to come off of IR right after the thing. But look, I don't hate on coaches. I just note who does coach speak. It's the same head coach that said at the beginning of the season or end of preseason, he's day to day when he was already in Minnesota with a re aggravation seeing a quote body specialist. And we said, this is week to week. And day to day turned into IR pretty quickly. So, I think that's just optimism talking. I'm not sure that he's going to be coming off IR right at week five or right after the four-week minimum. Doc, I got a question for you about the Steelers-Texans uh, game. Last week, the Texans all banged up. We're missing their corner. They went there. They beat the Jags as eight-point underdogs. This week, they're catching right around two and a half, three points against the Steelers at home. Is this team healthy? And who's the more banged-up team in this matchup? So you know what's a big injury that I think we should actually discuss once we get Pro Football Doc back on? The Steelers have a side this point in time, really, on both sides of the ball. They have a couple of injuries. To, sorry, it's still about the offensive line of, this, of the Texans. And, yes, they've outperformed last week against Jacksonville, but at least three out of the five offensive linemen are still out. And who do they face this, this week? Not J.J., but T.J., right? And uh, I think that's a big deal and something to watch. Yeah, and then we got a game over in Wembley Stadium in London – uh, where are the impactful injuries in, in that game against Atlanta and Jacksonville? Basically, Jacksonville's a field goal favorite, but they've been underperforming all year, starting off the season one and two. And if they go to one and three, they're in trouble. Yeah, and Jacksonville's certainly very used to playing in London. And you, as you guys know, this is a two-game stint that they're going to play there, two in a row there, maybe a precursor to a team more in London more often. But the biggest injury to watch is in game when it happens, A. Jones. We said we had worry for PCL. He came back in the game, didn't do a lot, now missing. Now he might not even make the trip. 
Let me tell you the significance of not making the trip. Besides A. Jones, PCL, we know for a skill position, that's a big deal. But if he doesn't make the trip to London, he's out the next two games. He's not flying coach or first class on his own out to London if he misses the flight on uh, with the team uh, late this week. Uh, next game on the board, uh, the Bengals first Tennessee, basically two and a half point favorites. We saw Joe Burrow. I mean, he he, he played pretty well last week. Uh, he's still struggling a little bit. Uh, what are the impactful injuries in this matchup? Well, you know, that Joe Burrow injury is not done. Remember, it was a July 27th calf strain that leaked into the regular season where he was fine, quote, fine week one, still ball out quick, and then hurt it week two. So now he played and didn't aggravate it. Are we supposed to celebrate? This is going to affect him into October. Now, how much and what they're going to do is a, is a different story. But, uh, you know, I think you saw in the first part of the game, it was very ball out quick, short passes. And later on, they had to open it up a little bit because the Rams had caught on. But let me tell you, obviously, Mike Rabel in Tennessee has seen all the film and they've studied it. So the Bengals have to come up with a counter move here because you can't just sit just shotgun, short passes underneath, quick ball out. You're going to have to, like, alter it up a little bit to try and succeed here. All right, we got about a minute left. I mean, the, mo- the game everyone's going to watch this week real quick, Miami versus Buffalo. Which team is more banged up? we got about a minute left. I thought you were going to say it was the the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey game. Would be the <laughs> <laughs> no, look, look, I think it's unbelievable and fantastic that you know whatever nickname you want to say it, the greatest show on grass. Uh, you know their field, Miami, all the six fastest uh, times, you know high speeds, you know uh, next gen stats, and so a lot of those on grass. Uh, that their you know their issue there, their left tackle is always going to be a little in, little out, vet rest for his knee. Obviously, Jalen Ramsey is out. The injuries there are fairly even. It's just a matter of the speed here. And, of course, the the one key might be safeties for the Bills with Mika Hyde being dinged up a little bit and Jordan Poyer. That's the big one to watch over the top, especially with Jalen Waddle clearing concussion and, of course, Tyree Kill. And uh, I like that HN guy. I, I saw uh, him earlier. I don't, early. Know, I don't know a lot of talk, but we're about to go to the next segment. Thanks for coming on. You can follow him at Pro Football Doc, and you can go to SICScore.com, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Doc. See you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we'll you. be right back. Go to get your game on. Go for the beers. Go for the cheers. Go for the hit and the hits. Go for the stakes and the stakes. Go to get your parlay on. Go to get your party on. Go for the scene. Go for the screens. Go for the gallery. Go for the win. Go to Ocean. Visit theoceanac.com to plan your visit. Welcome back to the Sports Betting Show. This is the Philly Godfather from the phillygodfather.com. And we have uh, Dave Mason coming back on to break down the bet splits, the percentages, where the sharp money's at in the NFL, who's betting what. Dave, are you there? Yeah, I am here. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Back to back. We got you on both shows this week. (laughs) We still don't have a picture of you, but we got you on both shows. We're we're working on that. We're working on that. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's go right to the game that everybody wants to talk about here. Uh, Miami's going to Buffalo. Uh, game's up to what? It's three, two and a half, depending on where you shop. Uh, who Who's betting what? Where's the sharp money? Where's the recreational money? Is there any sharp money on the side or a total here? Yeah, we got Buffalo two and a half, uh, total of 53 and a half, open bills minus three and 54. Uh, 62% of the cash, eight fifty eight uh, 52, 62% of the cash is on the bills. 58% of the bets are on the fins. Uh, sharp equals under 55 or more. All right, let's go to the game in London. I know it's an early game. What type of action do you guys, uh, what kind of type of handle you get for that early game in London? Yeah, I mean, it's great. We love it. You know, anytime there's a standalone game, it's, you know, it's sure people got to, especially on the West Coast, got to set their alarm clocks and everything. But any kind of, any kind of a standalone game, you get increased action. I mean, you will get more, we'll probably get at least twice the action we would on that game as opposed to what it would be if it was a one o'clock kickoff. So, so yeah, we we absolutely love those standalone games. More standalone games, the better. Um, as far as the game itself, 
Jacksonville laying three, total 43. Open open Jacksonville four and 45, 54% of the cash and 70% of the betters are on the Jags. A um, little bit of sharp action on Atlanta plus three and a half. All right, let's go to the next game on the board. Uh, two on Ravens coming off an outright overtime loss as an eight point favorite to the Colts. They're facing a two one Browns team that's starting to look a little dangerous. Uh, which way is the public betting this? Is there any sharp money on a side or a total? Where'd the line open up at and where's it at now? Uh, let me let me get that real quick. Sorry about that. My screen just closed there for a second. It's all right. I'm, I'm yeah. seeing two and a half. Is, is that where you guys have two and a half on the game? Uh, one second. What did you say? Browns, Ravens? Yeah, Browns, Ravens. I'm seeing two and a half, 40 and a half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's exactly. No, we got three. We got three, actually. We got three and 40 and a half. So, is, is that because uh, you're begging for some Ravens money or what's going on? Uh, we're, we're, getting, we're, getting some, we're getting some more Ravens money, man. We, 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 we got, we, we're getting uh, about 62% of the cash is on the Ravens. Mm-hmm. So uh, the bet count's pretty split. So no big need on it right right at this moment. Um, you know, I think we'll get we'll get Browns late. This is not not much sharp action either. Before we break down some more marquee games, you're listening to Dave Mason from Bet Online. Jamie, you got any questions for uh, Dave Mason in this segment? No, no, I'm good. Thanks. Good to go. All right, <laughs> let's go to the uh, Patriots Cowboys game. Him and Rooster are in concussion protocol right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to do the math for you, Jimmy. You don't have to do the math. You just have to cash your tickets. <sighs> Those are making money. That's all that what matters. I've been doing. <laughs> All right, the Patriots. You bet through the number like uh, Bruce Reed goes <laughs> right, We got to call pizza. time now. We got Dave Mason. <laughs> All right, we got the Sorry, Patriots. Dave. They beat the Jets last okay. week for the first win of the season. Now they got to go to Dallas to play a Cowboys team that lost outright as a 12.5 point favorite to a, a gritty Cardinals team that could possibly be 3 and 0, uh, but they're 1 and 2. Dave, which way is the public bet in this game? Is there any sharp money? On the side or a total? And where's the line at right now? Yeah, the line's Dallas six and a half, total 43 and a half, open seven and a half, and 42 and a half. The cash is 50 50, and, you know, the bet count's pretty close to that. 55% of the betters are on the Patriots. Um, sharp equals New England plus seven over 43. Wow. All right, let's go to the uh, Chiefs at New York to play the Jets. It looks like they're back on track on top of the AFC West at two and one after starting the season 0-1. But going into New York and covering that spread is never easy against a tough defense. Which way is the public bet this? Is there any sharp money on either side or the total? Yeah, currently KC 8.5, total 41.5, open 9 and 43. The cash is 50-50, but 85% of the betters are on KC. So that kind of sets off some uh, light bulbs there. Sharp equals Jets plus 9.5. All right, net last game on the board. I know it's still early, Monday night game. I don't know what type of handle you guys have, but Seattle's playing the Giants at home. I'm seeing, what, a pick in 47 and a half. We, we, we like the over in this matchup. Uh, is there any sharp side, uh, money on the side or a total here? Um, yeah, we have it. We currently have a Seattle minus point and a half, 47 and a half, open Seattle one and a half, 45. Uh, 55% of the cash is on the Giants. 73% of the betters are on Seattle. We have some uh, sharp on Seattle minus one or better. All right, there you go right there. All right, Dave, I want to thank you for coming on. If you want to let everyone know where to find you on Twitter, and if you guys have any uh, promos at Bet Online. At Dave Mason, B-O-L. At Dave Mason, B-O-L. All sorts of promos, man. Come on to BetOnline.ag. Slash promotions. That's where you're going to have your bonuses. 55, 50%. Bonus for um, most methods, 100% bonus for crypto, um, all sorts of free contests. Come, come on over to betonline.ag. Thanks for having right. me, guys. Thanks for coming on. We'll see you next week. All right, let's, bring, let's bring back uh, uh, Philly Rooster real quick. Rooster, you listen to Pro Football Doc. You listen to Dave Mason. Uh, what do you think? I mean, who else do you like in the NFL this week? Uh, my biggest bet of the week is the Patriots. Um, I like them. Plus the seven, I like them on the money line. Um, I think Dallas's offensive line is still beat up. I know Patriots have some injuries as well, but you know Belichick's going to game plan for these guys. I mean, Arizona kind of gave us the template 
Um, I really, really enjoyed you guys giving me your love of Dallas over the last two weeks. We <laughs> here Dallas we go. Here we go. He was and, like, like uh, yeah, the, he, the only <laughs> thing I enjoyed as much as Georgia from Baba was the love of Dallas from you three, the three oh. musketeers over there. Okay. He's a uh, homer. He's an eagle. Rooster, homer. Rooster, 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 Rooster. Rooster, what happened He's when you went really against us when we were on Tampa? What, what, what Dallas reminds me of is a Lamborghini with a Ferrari <laughs> engine a ben Bentley tires. Just give me the Corvette. Give me the Eagles. Okay. You know, you know it's, fun. it's easy to say after they're all banged yeah, up. Yeah. And they lose in the 12 and a half lose a game. And who shows up the show? <laughs> 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 but we didn't see him for the first two weeks. Yeah. Give me the Patriots. Uh, they're better than Arizona, who just whipped the Cowboys. That's true. I can't, either, you can't defend that. Can't and as much as I, that, listen, as much as I like the Cowboys, I'm with Rooster here. Uh, when the Cowboys are healthy, I think they cover the spread, but they're not healthy yet. And you saw the Patriots the first two weeks of the season. They played the Eagles tough, came down to the end. They played the Dolphins tough, and they went to New York, which is never easy, and beat the Jets and covered the number. Uh, and so that's always an indicator that this team is actually pretty good. Uh, let me go to Jamie next. Jamie, is there a side in the NFL you like this week you want to give out? Uh, I mean, you know, I like that. I like that over that we talked about with Giants in Seattle. I like the Browns. I'm with you guys on the Browns money line. Um, I'm leaning towards the Chargers, but I, I need to know that Eckler's playing. If Eckler's playing, then I'll give up to the five and a half, even six with the Chargers. Um, and in my teaser world, I will explain why you only have to win six out of ten. <laughs> only six out because of ten now? You're really changing let me, the math formula? Jimmy, let, let, me, let me explain. Are you betting a so, six? What are you betting? A six-point teaser, six and a half, or seven-point teaser? You said a minus 120. Teaser. Please let me speak. Yeah, but how many points? I, let him speak. If I win, let him speak. <laughs> will you relax? So <laughs> if I win 600 on six bets, $100 each, and I lose 400 plus the juice, which is 20%, which would be – 480, I win $120 between the 600 and the 480. So I have to win four, six out of 10. Jamie, hold on. You guys see Jim right now. He's on his phone on the calculator. And he's tapping away. I'm one <laughs> I'll call Joe Vito in his grave right now because he's flipping over saying, what the fuck is this guy talking about? That is actual math. I don't know what, what math you're doing. Yeah, but, but you're not math. specifying, Jamie. You're saying a teaser. So you're saying you got to specify. Is it he six just point specified. On a 7.20. <laughs> Doesn't work. You said, you said it, how, how many <laughs> how many games do we have to win giving laying 120? That's how many games you have to win. Six Jamie is 100 percent correct when it comes to the math. Let me go to April. April. Okay. I April. forgot oh. why I love Baba so much. <laughs> Back to my teaser. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 before we go to April, Jamie, give out that teaser real quick. Yes. Yeah, so um and then and then you do have to pay more on seven point teaser. Right. We got two minutes. So what's so that? A dollar thirty five? We got two minutes. Let the man give so, out the teaser and give us some more picks. What for I everybody. like this week, I like the Chiefs uh minus two and a half or three, and Miami plus ten. Okay. That go. is my favorite teaser of the week. I also kind of like the Patriots getting – if you can get them plus, you know, 13 or 14, um, you compare them with the Eagles, you compare them with the Chiefs or the or Miami. That's where I'm teasing this week. All right, let me go to April. April, is there another game on the board you like? Jacksonville Jaguars minus three and on the money line. I think they get it done here. It's a good spot for them. They're the better team. It's time to start playing at the level they're capable of. Sheep. You're talking uh, – you got to give out a game. Bills, here. Bills, you like bills, the Bills, bills minus two and a half? Yeah, I like the Bills. Rooster, you like the Bills or you like Miami? I like the Bills in this spot. I mean, what it's only fuck? minus three. Cancel the game. <laughs> <laughs> Miami <Jesus> plus three. <laughs> yeah. nah, I, I like the Bills too. I agree with them. I'm I mean, if they lose this week, they're 0-2 in the division. <laughs> Is they're two, two, they're two games behind Miami. I mean, they're not going to make that up. This is this is like their suit. This is like ball. the biggest game of the season for Buffalo, ain't it? Oh, it's absolutely gigantic. I mean, uh, the Dolphins are supposed to be this juggernaut. Now, let's see what they do against a real defense, a real pass rush, and a strong offense that can, I think, hang with them. I, I'm, I cannot wait to watch this game. This is the game of the week. We I got agree, 20 Bruce, seconds. Do you agree, agree with the Maple? Miami plus three. Oh, we got opposition right there. All right, I want to thank Dave Mason for coming on this segment from Bet Online. I want to thank Pro Football Doc from uh, from SICScore.com. Great information. Uh, we're going to have uh, 
John Grace from uh, out in Vegas up next in the next segment. So don't go away. He's going to give you out some rapid fire picks. Go to get your game on. Go for the beers. Go for the cheers. Go for the hit and the hits. Go for the stakes and the stakes. Go to get your parlay on. Go to get your party on. Go for the scene. Go for the screens. Go for the gallery. Go for the win. Go to Ocean. Visit theoceanac.com to plan your visit. Back to the sports betting show. I'm the Philly Godfather from the phillygodfather.com. We got John Grace live from Las Vegas. John, we got tied up in a little bit of traffic, got here late. But I want you to give out some picks this week. Rapid fire, give it, get, break them down. Let's give out some winners from Vegas. All right, guys. I'm going to just go fast here since I don't know how much time I have this week. But I'm going to go with the Cowboys, six and a half, if I can get there. Really think it's a bounce back spot for the Cowboys. Um, I'm going to go with the Jets, man. I'll, I'll be on that island with Zach Wilson, at least plus nine. Um, wow. I just kind of really think that it's a gut check game similar to the Bills week one. Um, really like the under as well. Um, think it's just going to be close. I'm, you know, potentially could be a miracle with them outright, but I think they keep it within a touchdown. Uh, my favorite play of the week is the Colts, um, money line or minus one, um, at, uh, at home against the Rams. Anthony Richards is coming back out of concussion protocol. Really think this Colts team's for real. Um, and, uh, I, I think that they showed that last week against the Ravens. Um, and you know, I feel like a lot of people are going to take the Rams just because of the Rams go Browns minus two and a half minus three. Same sentiment as you guys all talking with the Browns and the elite defense. Um, you know, they definitely outright best defensively right now. Uh, I like the Lions tonight. I think that Jair Alexander injury is a big deal in the secondary for the uh, Packers that uh, the doc was mentioning earlier. Um, and, is that going to you know, be I one of your biggest bets this week, uh, the Lions? Um, I mean, I, I got five, five, five fifty on them. Not, not that big. I, I really like the Colts. That's kind of my favorite play this week. And then also the dolphins, I'll take them money line. You know, obviously we all are, I have been on them this whole time and, you know, I, I think it's uh, a great spot for them to prove it just like the, the Browns and, uh, just like, um, you know, j- just to, like the Cowboys have been, um, you know, previously before the week last week to be one of the elite teams. So, uh, I'll go with the Saints. I'll ride with Jameis, uh, minus three. I know it kind of ticked up to minus three and a half, so I got it early there. Um, and uh, I'll roll with C.J. Stroud, the Texans' money line, and plus three. <laughs> plus He's three. been impressive. He's been impressive. Yeah, man. yeah. I mean, yeah, over 300 yards passing last few games. I mean, that offense really has been um, – really have been has been taken off and uh i think that texas i think the texans and the colts are going to be contenders in the south the jaguars that's a that's a tough game in atlanta i mean i, I think they take minus three is and money line as well but uh they definitely have some flaws and some issues they got to work out i think that afc south is going to be a little bit more competitive than we all thought with all four teams sure. uh, and i love the chargers way. i love the chargers as well um you know i know that it's going to be a predominantly raiders crowd and so far with the uh the LA Raiders and California fan base coming in, but I just can't see Jimmy G keeping up with them. And McDaniels is just a stooge. So, <laughs> oh my God, that, that um, play call from him. And I mean, yeah. Staley of the Chargers last week. Oh my God. They went for it. I mean, no, honestly, what, what man, I, I, I think, I think it was a great, I think it was a great call. You get the first down, you win the game, just poor execution. And then everyone vilifies him. Um, I don't, I don't you know. know about I, Staley, I know man. he's had some, <laughs> I know, he, I know he's had some bad spots, but I would, I would take, Go for it on fourth and one with, uh, well, I think it was like two minutes left. Two minutes left in the game, and the Vikings had no or one timeout. You gotta, you gotta try to run that clock out. But you know, I think with Eckler out, that running game isn't what it, what it has been, and they're just gonna keep slinging it with uh, Justin Herbert. So I guess my prop for the week will be over Justin Herbert yards, over Herbert, uh, Justin Herbert's completions, and over Justin Herbert's attempts. I really think that they're just. Letting a letting a sling with um with him and then also with Mike Williams out. I like Quinton Johnson, the rookie, the scores first career touchdown this week. Uh, I think he's going to be slotted into that um that spot where Mike Williams was is kind of the tall the tall uh, receiver to kind of stretch the field a bit. But um yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at this week. Good stuff. And, Good stuff. I appreciate yeah. you coming on. Let everyone know where to find you on social media, what your websites are. Uh, what your websites are and what's going on in Vegas right now real quick. 
Yeah, man. It's John Grace at J O N G R A C E uh, on Twitter, Instagram. I uh, run bachelorvegas.com, bachelor at vegas.com, full service party planner. Um, Vegas right now, we're, we're drawing closer to the Formula One opening and then also the MSG Sphere, that big giant ball of leds that ha- that's a big billboard now that opens and uh t- opens tomorrow with the u2 show so that's awesome. exciting um that's i, exciting I, I know we'll come out there and watch you too all right john thanks for coming on yeah, we'll have you on next week man i appreciate it brother thank you so much good luck john hit him we're bringing rooster back on rooster you've been listening you've been paying attention you've been uh stalking in the weeds over there uh is there any N- other nfl game you like on the board this week well, we mentioned Buffalo. Um, I like to lay the three there. We mentioned uh, the Patriots. I like them money line and plus the seven. Um, one other game, a little bit of an outlier. I'm against uh, uh, some of the sharp money here, but I kind of like the Rams this week against the Colts in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, I think the Rams are going to have a little bit of a bounce back here. I think it's a good spot for them. The Colts. Look, I, I like this rookie quarterback. I don't know if he's ready for prime time yet, but I uh, kind of like the Rams plus the one and a half. Okay. Let me go to eight ball real quick. Eight ball, is there any other game you'd like to give out in the NFL? I love Dallas this week. I think they got embarrassed last week. I think they're going to show, you know, they're the best team in the NFL. I think the defense is going to suffocate Mac Jones. They're going to run the ball effectively, and uh, I think they covered a touchdown. You, still- you know that's Rooster's game of his of the week. His, <laughs> you know, it's exactly. his pizza bowl. He plus seven money line. Well, I'll tell you what Rooster bets every week: Patriots and <laughs> Eagles. That's what he bets every week. The Chiefs. And the Chiefs. And the Chiefs. And the Chiefs. And the Chiefs. Reed. Every week. And you know well, what? For, for all years, I know all is <laughs> all I know is Dallas. So all I heard was Dallas love for two weeks. They just got embarrassed by the worst team in the league, and now. The, somehow they're going to mysteriously come back and uh, these offensive linemen are going to be able to block against one of the best defenses in the league. We'll see. What do you think, April? We'll see. Well, <laughs> it depends on the health. If they got their guys playing. No, if Dallas stores. is healthy, you got a yeah, different outcome. No, no, no. But they're not, they're He's in concussion though. protocol, so let him keep going. It's okay. <laughs> Who's in concussion? Rooster. Rooster. <laughs> That's going to be his new excuse. I was in concussion protocol. I swear. <laughs> I knew what the fuck I was talking about. I, my head was going everywhere. Over one Bab- Bab- has, Bab- has got to win eight out of ten teasers to make money. That's all I know. <laughs> I don't have to worry about betting eight out of ten teasers because I know <laughs> He's just a sucker bet, and I won't – unless I have it, great inside information on the game, then I would place it into a teaser. Now, the reality is, listen, if you're looking – if you got two strong sides, you throw all the math out the window. I don't care what – if you're looking to get down as much as possible on these two strong sides, I'll tease through zero. I'll, I don't even care what the numbers are because I'm trying to get down as much as possible on two games well, that I think I have a massive wait, edge Wait a minute, wait you a, a minute. Stop for a second, my friend. I bet the Baltimore Ravens last week. Well, it, we were on the Colts. We took no, the Colts we were on the Colts. We but, we, we, but we bet that teaser early, yeah, so we, we got caught with teaser, our pants so down that, with everyone out. And you can get caught with your pants down. Look at Rooster every yeah, week. That's why it's better. <laughs> to, <laughs> that's why it's every better week. to bet a lot of these teasers on game day. Yeah, I agree. I when, agree. When that line has finally settled in, and you can get the best really of the number, but the, but by then, I mean, if you got a strong, uh, if you got two strong sides, that line has moved already. You know, True. so that's it's a gamble. You know, Ro- Rooster, when you got two strong sides and you're looking to bury them, to bury these teams, put them in parlays, put them in teasers. Does it really matter what the math is? Well, at that point, no. If you think you got a multiple point advantage, so you made the line three and the and the game six or something crazy like that, and you're trying to get down, yeah, I mean, you get down as much as you can, but. Uh, Every, long term, right? Long stuff term. happens. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Long term, yeah. <laughs> you're still math, math, right? But you're on, still, on a Sunday, if you're looking to get down and bury two sides, then you throw the math out the window. But long term, the math's going to eat you up. That's what the vig's there for. That's, that's the problem. Rooster, yeah, in all seriousness, that's, did you put and that, that's why Bab needs. That's why Baba needs to win eight out of ten teams. <laughs> well, I don't need to bet eight out of ten because I told you I don't bet for that. He just pulled okay. out his pamphlet. He's, he's hooked on phonics. He's doing the math. He's got his calculator. <laughs> now, Rooster, did you put the patch in the teaser also? No, I didn't. No. I, uh, I, I really don't bet teasers, but gotcha. Yeah. I just asked that. Uh, Maddie from uh, the college kids. Matt, is there a game or a side or? Total you like here? So I already talked about Cleveland. We took them early. We took the under there, but we also took the under in the Tampa Bay game. And another game that I actually agree with John Grace on 
the Houston Texans, they're playing some impressive, really good football, especially I love the QB Stroud He's doing some good things in Pittsburgh. Honestly, you know, they should have lost that game against Cleveland. Yeah, and offensively, they're challenged. And yeah, that's my point. So I really do think this Houston team can win. I mean, if you get the three, I like the three at home. Yeah, that's a good side. Uh, Jamie, is there any other games you like or any other teasers you want to throw in there just to, uh, just yeah. to get Jimmy's juices flowing over here? In I'll, the throw in, I'll throw in a Monday night teaser. <laughs> Monday night football. I will go with uh, Seattle plus seven. And over 41 on a six. Where are you getting Seattle season? plus seven? The line's one and a half. It's it's they, moved. It was a pick. Yeah, now, now, no. The line currently right now is Seattle's minus one and a half, minus 15 cents at bet online. Oh, all yeah. right. So but you can lay moved. one. I, you can, you can, I, there's I ones in the market. He could, he could take plus six and over what, 41? Plus six and over 40. Is that what you want, Jamie? Yeah. Right, he's write, go, that down. write that down, Jamie. I am Seattle plus six. And, and over 41. And Seattle, like Jimmy money, has huh? his own gold recap. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's got his own. <laughs> concussion. Jim, Jimmy, concussion Jimmy protocol. likes the golden shower. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I didn't hear him. Excuse me. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to repeat it, but <laughs> he didn't hear you. <laughs> Something about a shower, the price of gold. I don't know. <laughs> nothing like that. Yeah, so when he's over in Italy, who knows what the fuck's going on over there? <laughs> he couldn't come. If Dallas went 4 0, he wasn't coming off the week five. That's the only reason he showed he up. He was waiting for them to lose. Yeah, he's like, shit, I can't go on this week. Dallas keeps winning. All right, we got two and a half minutes left uh, in this segment. Uh, anybody else out there? You, you know what's a little concerning this week yeah, is uh, the Chiefs. When you look at them, I wanted to ask Doc about it, but I kind of missed it. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, he banged up his ankle last week. Yeah. Coming into this week, he was on an injury report, but he was a full participant. But other than that, if you look at the other guys that are injured on that injury report, we're looking at Chris Jones, huge piece for them, groin. That's not an easy injury to deal with. Isaiah P Pacheco, That's he's huge. on an injury report, and Kondarius Tooney. And on the other side, Jets, you got to worry about um, – What's his name? Malachi? No, Makai Becton, the tackle. So two, some very key injuries in this game that, you, you know, we should probably be monitoring. Yeah, but when it comes, to, I mean, Rooster never worries about the Chiefs. He just bets them blindly every week. He's the biggest Andy Reid fan in the world. Rooster, you like the Chiefs this week, lane nine? I way? actually like the Jets here. I mean, give me the 10. Whoa. It's up to nine and a half. I think you'll see some square money, uh, and he's right. I mean, I don't know what's up with Mahomes' ankle. Um, and this Jets defense is going to be smothering. I mean, 10 points at home, that's just the wrong line. 17, I agree. If you take I, a teaser. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with Rooster here. I, I definitely think it's something to monitor. We talked about home, Mahomes, and we talked about how this defense is not the same without Chris Jones. It's a huge piece oh, for that defense. Totally different defense. The line's starting to drop, too. I'm looking offshore. It's down to eight and a half. We might, Rooster, you think this game closes eight, seven and a half, seven by game time? Uh, not seven and a half, seven. I, I, I mean, eight, anything between eight and nine and a half is basically the same. Games don't land eight. So um, these guys will play around with those numbers, try and entice some action on the Chiefs. But I don't think it'll go to seven and a half because then this, you're going to lay seven minus 20. And if it goes to 10, they're grabbing it right away. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, they're gonna so grab it's going to stay in that comfort zone, eight to nine and a half. Yeah, and, and I talked to Dave Mason earlier. He said, I mean, I know it's still early in the week, but he said it's Thursday night. 90% of the tickets are on Kansas City already. And Come game day, everyone's betting Kansas City. I mean, they like they played a, a Bears team that's a disgrace to the I NFL. Guess. How bad are the Bears? And John yeah. Grace might be right. Plus, I mean, he he took him in his contest. Yeah. Plus nine and a half. I mean, that might I like be a, that. that might be a good bet. Uh what else is left here? Oh, Denver, Chicago. Denver's laying what, three? If you can get Starting to move a little bit. Is Chicago the worst team in football, Matt? I said it before about Justin Fields. The problem is the dude doesn't Hold that win. thought. We'll be right back in our next segment. Go to get your game on. Go for the beers. Go for the cheers. Go for the hit and the hits. Go for the stakes and the stakes. Go to get your parlay on. Go to get your party on. Go for the scene. Go for the screens. Go for the gallery. Go for the win. Go to Ocean. Visit theoceanac.com to plan your visit.
sports betting show. I'm the Philly Godfather from the phillygodfather.com. I want to thank everyone for watching and listening on SiriusXM, Sports Grid, and Jacob Sports Media on YouTube. We're going to go to the Golden Recap. Jamie, are you ready to go here? Yes. So uh, we have the Golden Recap for today in the NFL. I am going over 47 in the Giants-Seahawks game Monday night. I'm there with you. I'm there with you. Yeah, and Philly Godfather's with me here. Brown's money line at, is from eight ball. And Matt, I also like that. They give up to three. Matt likes under 42. Rooster likes the Patriots plus seven and the money line. The Jaguars minus three and the money line for eight ball. Sheep likes the Bills. Rooster likes the Bills. Rooster likes the Rams over the Colts. Eight ball likes Miami plus three and Dallas minus seven. I like a teaser with Miami plus 10 and KC minus two and a half. I also like the Patriots if you can get 14, maybe even 13 in a teaser. There's a bonus Monday night football teaser that I like, which is taking Seattle. I got them two days ago plus seven um, on a six point teaser, but they're now giving one. Uh, the world is waking up to how crappy the Giants are. So uh, that line has moved. And so maybe if you have to take Seattle plus six and over 41. Uh, Matt likes the under in Tampa Bay. John Grace uh, likes Dallas minus six and a half. Jets plus nine and under. Colts money line. Browns minus three. Dolphins money line. Lions uh, tonight. The Saints minus three. Texans in the money line. And the Chargers. I also like the Chargers if Eckler is playing, which we don't know yet. Uh, John Grace gave out a few props that I did not write down. It's okay. We got 30 and seconds. That is our golden recap. There Include the go. Texans in there as well. Oh, yeah. I John about. Grace gave out the Texans. Yeah. I, 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 I like oh, the Texans. Like yeah, well. plus okay. the three. All right. And I like the Lions tonight. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to chance to. To watch this and bet it, but I think the Lions win that game. And that's it. Lions. And that's it, guys. I want to thank everyone for watching and listening on Sirius XM, channel 159, Sports Grid, Jacob Sports Media. Uh, thanks for watching the NFL show, and we'll be back next week. And kids, go to get your game on. Go for the beers. Go for the cheers. Go for the hit and the hits. Go for the stakes and the stakes. Go to get your parlay on. Go to get your party on. Go for the scene. Go for the screens. Go for the gallery. Go for the win. Go to Ocean. Visit theoceanac.com to plan your visit. <laughs> 